Here with Chris Higgins, just a little bit about the changes the Panthers have gone through. I mean, 14 different players on the opening night roster from last year's opening night. Do you even recognize this this team from last year? Uh, obviously, there's there's uh, not as many not as many guys as uh, I would like to, to remember at least. But um, a lot of good guys in this team. Uh, I had a lot of fun playing here. Um, a lot of competitors that uh, that are still around. But uh, like you said, there's a lot of new faces as well. It seems like they gelled pretty quickly and uh, they're uh, they're doing really well. And you know, I hope they I hope they continue to do well. There's uh, a lot of good guys over there. Yeah, you know, last year at this time they were in 11th tied for 11th and it looked like and then the wheels fell off and the trades and all that stuff uh, is it good for them to know going forward that this is the team and they don't really have to worry about the trading deadline as much that I mean you were one of those guys on a right. one year deal a lot of these guys have three four year deals right. and you know what I mean yeah um, I think uh with the way the team's set up now, it's they, they, and then the way they're playing, it's uh, it seems like um, they're pretty uh, pretty comfortable with with the roles that the guys are set up, set themselves into. Um, obviously, there'll probably be some tinkering as with as with any team, right. but um, uh, I think they, the the most important thing they wanted to change was the culture and and have a, you know have a winning culture, get used to winning and, and enjoying it. And uh, um, it seems like uh, it's worked so far for them. So uh, you know, continued success after tomorrow night for them. Yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, last year you guys knew in your heart of hearts that they were going to be sellers and that whole uncertainty. Now it looks like they're going to be buyers and maybe add to that. And that's got to be good for their confidence. Uh, it definitely changes things for sure. Uh, you know, instead of question marks, it's more of a, it's more of a goal-driven, uh, goal-driven play towards, uh, towards the deadline, towards the playoffs. And, uh, you know, that definitely, uh, definitely has an influence on the team. Uh, you're looking forward to a specific goal of getting in the playoffs and, and making some noise there. So um, it should be uh, should be a fun, interesting year, uh, rest of the year for them. And, and it worked out for you. I mean, obviously, Stanley Cup Finals last year, three yeah. year team. Yeah, well, you digging it? Was, uh, you know, best team probably to get traded to uh, yeah. last year. Um, I thought they were the best team in the league from playing against them. And, um, it was. Uh, it was, a, you know, obviously a, a blessing. We traded such a great organization. I've, I've had a blast playing here as well. And you were injured when you were traded. Going to a team like this is a kind of extra motivation. Well, I better get in there. Um, yeah, I guess. Uh, I think I came back a little bit earlier than, Did you? than, than uh, expected, that's for sure. But uh, easy team to play with. Um, um, even though I was a little bit hurt coming back, uh, to, to be able to fit in and contribute, uh, too much talent on this team, too much work to... Uh, uh, not to not to be successful. All right, thanks, Chris. Yeah, yeah.